Hi Collective, this is Goddess Nicole Tarot, back to bring you another energetic read for the Collective, for my beautiful and handsome Soul Tribe members. How are you guys doing? Y'all will see this today, but I am recording this um, in the early wee hours of the morning, so I will upload it tomorrow though. Well, today which is Monday, my bad. I keep getting it confused, <laughs> but y'all know, I'm gonna upload it. I was getting the download. Um, I was actually getting that K. Michelle song. Um, right now, somebody is suffering collective for all the hell they put you through. It's really weighing on this person. They're definitely getting their karma. Uh, whoever this individual is, they can't sleep. <clears throat> it's a lot of trauma this person puts you through. A lot of uh, emotional and uh, mental abuse. I'm picking up on that too. That K. Michelle song that I got is called Cry. You guys can look it up on YouTube. Uh, it goes like this. You're going to suffer for everything you did. You gon' cry You gon' pay me in tears You gon' cry Cause it's not about the love It's all about revenge Cry I can't say like her, but you know what I'm talking about Somebody is crying or somebody has cried about and thought about all the things they put you through. I don't think this person is gonna come to you collective. Um, if they do, <laughs> they're not gonna be honest with everything, okay? <clears throat> what they've been hiding from you, keeping away from you, whatever they've been doing since you guys been broken up. <clears throat> Or uh, or divorce, take it however resonates with you. Eat the meat and spit out the bone. I just feel like this person, this person gonna suffer. Whoever this is, they did a lot to you, and it starts with the mental. For some of you, a very small portion of you guys uh, in the collective was physical abuse by this person. All the abuses, mental, emotional, verbal, physical spiritually too as well mental <laughs> it's just too much i believe you know this too as well when i cut the debt i got the high priestess the six of cups in the reverse this was a past life soulmate in this lifetime this person is gonna suffer you left this person you left the past in the past and you forgave this person and you elevated, you ascended into the high priestess or the high priest. Take it however resonates. You know this person is suffering. You know they are. They also had somebody here that betrayed them too as well. I feel like they gathered this queen of cups. She's been coming out here lately, but she hadn't came out. She's, uh, she's a part of this too. This woman is whoever he's with, whoever he uh got with after you. He kept trying to get with people, women, that would try to suit his needs. I feel like he had still hasn't gotten anywhere. This person is emotionally, mentally unstable, whoever he is, okay? Divine feminine, I feel like... <clears throat> This person gather a lot of people to attack you, starting with this Queen of Cups, if she comes back out. This person was the devil to you, very toxic to you, and he's crying right now. You gon' suffer for everything you did. Somebody's finna suffer. You Somebody finna pay you in tears. It's done God. 
bad for this person. Cause it's not about love. It's all about revenge. Somebody wanted to get revenge on you. Yeah. You release this person. You're not trapped. You're not bounded. You're not all in your head. This person is. I feel like a lot of this open up avenues and paths for you collective meaning you started over here i mean you started from the ground you started from scratch i feel like when you finally release this person for some of you it'll allow karma to come in and teach this person a lesson and i feel like it's not caught up to them right now whoever this person is they going through it right now you probably wouldn't even be able to recognize this person five 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 on the clock at, on the timer as i said this it's definitely a lot of change going on and that's your justice libra energy here gemini energy pisces scorpio energy here i just feel like now is the time you to step in your power step in your purpose you could be you could be solving your own case here you could be getting justice for yourself. You could be exposing this person for who they are. This person had you in some type of restriction at some time. Okay, probably up to eight years. This person has been taunting you, watching you, stalking, gang stalking you from behind the scenes. And things have finally been revealed to you about this person. I feel like some of you guys gained your wings here. You gained your gifts. When you release this person, this was a toxic soul tie or a toxic soulmate. Somebody you had a contract with. Mm, mm, mm. We finna see. What's the justice here, spirit? I told you. Man, you got away from this. Yeah. You got foresight. You have clarity now. You have grown. Three of Wands talks about growth and expansion. Having the foresight to see things through. Having the foresight that what seeds you plant, you know is going to cultivate, it's going to grow. I feel like you couldn't grow with this person. You had to release them. You had to. Because if not, you were going to be stuck right with this person forever. In a mental prison. Yeah, stuck with somebody who was very sexual and did and didn't love you unrequited love here someone who was very mentally emotional abusive to you sexually for some of you guys okay wow you will cry it's not about love it's all about revenge somebody gonna cry they crying now because the load is heavy Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything he did is coming back to him. Ain't the ones in the reverse. It's a he. He's crying right by now. He's suffering. It's a heavy load, heavy burden. Whew, it's working him. It's too heavy to carry. I'm getting this cross is too hard to bear. Too hard to hear. Mm, 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 mm. Tell us more about this backfire here, Spirit. Oh, so he was bringing you conflict. He wants to reconcile. He wants to avoid all of this. If this person can hide all of this, what they did to you, they would. This person don't agree with what you're saying either. You could be the high priest. This person is not... Not agreeing with how you are explaining your situation but I feel like this collective I feel like this is your story to tell if you want to tell it, tell it to the world tell it how people abused you, mistreated you used you okay took you for granted Tore your heart to pieces. Ripped it apart. 
made you feel unloved, unwanted, made you feel this small for some of you guys, made it feel, made you feel like you couldn't be loved. No one would accept you. This person has some type of mentality, mindset over you, some type of mind control over you that made you feel like you were unwanted by anybody else other than them until you found yourself when you release this person. And this is the energy they were projecting over you as if you couldn't find nobody better than them with their abusive ass, their demonic, evil, twisted, wicked ass. This is somebody who is very wicked, very wicked. You changed something to do with transformation. You healed, you shed any bad negative patterns from this person. You healed from, from this person. This is somebody that is refusing to change too as well. Scorpio energy, more Scorpio. I did get 555 a few minutes ago. It's all about changes, all about changes. I feel like this devil that you was with, he keeps showing up. He was very, very evil to you. I feel like some of you guys, y'all would argue all the time. This person tested you a lot. This person made you feel less of a woman. Made you feel like <clears throat> that all the hard work that you put into the relationship it made you feel like you didn't want to go on no more. It made you feel like what you was doing, it wasn't um, appreciated. It wasn't reciprocated. He didn't care. He walked all over you, called you names, called you outside of your name, talked to you foul, disrespectful. This person was wicked and they know they were. And this is why they're suffering a lot of setbacks, delays, they're stuck. This person could be watching you too as well. This person wants to end the conflict. This person is way down, way down, but this is somebody refusing to change and they're holding on to your energy. Something about this person is, is sucking the life out of them. Something here is demonically attached to this person. I feel like everything is drying up around this person, is 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 dying, it's decaying. Whatever friendships, whatever jobs, whatever he thought that was gonna make him successful with doing you this way, he don't have that anymore. Yeah. There's a Queen of Wands that was also doing stuff for this person. She's been exposed. These two could be together. This masculine and feminine energy, but that's what the moon and the sun represents. Somebody is unhappy. Somebody is in fear. Maybe this is you releasing any illusions, any mindset, negative mindset or patterns. You release this person. You feel so much better. I feel like this person was a burden on you. It was just like you were caring for somebody who was very immature, childish, low vibrational. This person had a lot of mental problems that you wasn't a fully aware of. I feel like they, they sleep with a lot of low vibrational women too that uh, make they, they make them jealous because this person still, obs still obs obsessed with you. Okay, so they, they gather these women to go even go see, like look on your social media, troll you, watch you. They gather these women. This is her. I can hear somebody saying this is her. That's her right there. That's the bitch that left me and all of this. Yeah, you did leave this person because it wasn't no love there. Unrequited love. This person was jealous, envious, disappointment. This was a disappointment to you. This person overreacted a lot. 
this was a, somebody who was out for the streets, for the streets. He loved it, the negative uh, attention, loved it, loved the negative um, influences. And it, it, it made you guys' relationship terrible. This person could have been into porn, sexual addictions, whether that is alcohol, drugs, women. They suffer with a lot of addictions here that they kept hidden from you. What is this Knight of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, third parties. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. A lot of people that he collaborated with. A lot of people look at this person a lot different now. Because I feel like you you have exposed this person for the 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 tyrant that they are. This is somebody who really did unspeakable things to you. Some of you guys have shame of the way you allowed this person to treat you because you're so much better than that. I feel like if you guys would have knew that you were so gifted, so talented, so psychic, you had these abilities back then, some of you guys would have never been in a relationship with this person to begin with. That's what I feel. This person took, 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 took from you. Some of you guys was crying. I'm hearing a lot of crying. Sleepless nights. This is making me so sad because it's bringing it back a lot of memories for myself. Some of the relationships I ever got myself into, I regret them myself. I was so nice and so naive and, gener and generous to terrible, terrible men that mistreated me, that used me, took advantage of me, disrespected me, abused me. So I know what it's like to feel that way, guys. I'm not perfect. I never said I was. But I, when I know, I feel the pain from off of these cars. Some of you guys went through pure pain with these individuals, man. They were so selfish. And you were so selfless. Giving. Giving. Loving. Making sure the household was good. Making sure the kids was good. A lot of you were burnt out. This person devastated you. They they, they thought they had ruined you. I feel like some of you guys, y'all rose like the phoenix on this person's ass. That's why he's suffering. You gonna suffer for everything you did. It's a lot of them suffering right now. They going through hell here on earth. And for some of them, if they come back to earth, they still gonna go through these same cycles again. They gonna repeat it again. If not burning in hell. I just feel like a lot of you took a lot from these men. My masculines in my energy, in my collective, and my divine masculine, y'all flipped the rose, my love. A lot of y'all went through a lot of stuff with women. And it wasn't cool. It wasn't cool at all how they treated you. I know for a fact, this person here, they crying. They suffer, they have cried. And they probably still crying. Cause whoever they got with, she don't have no love for them. What did I say? Tempers in the reverse. This person overdid a lot and they are definitely falling. I feel like some of these people you persevered over 
The chariot talks about victory, success, willpower, having the strength to get over something, having a controlled mindset, being disciplined, having courage to leave. Some of you guys, y'all had the courage to leave. And when you did, oh baby, I'm hearing some of them got, yeah, this person right here, this is who we talking about. Come through sphere with the confirmation. This is your ex. Unavailable emotional ex. This person don't love nobody. Not even they self. They're cruel. They're ruthless. This is someone who is cold. This is someone that gives bad advice. They know it all. They think they know it all. They really don't know shit. This is somebody who emotionally is manipulative. Emotionally in, uh, unavailable. Emotionally immature. This person don't have any compassion for nobody. They don't have no feelings. And this is why they're so unaligned. They're off balance. They're emotionally imbalanced. They're emotionally uh, abusive. This is what this person is. Yeah. In, per, in the reverse. These could be several individuals in your energy that you went through hell with. Including a baby father. A ex. They all were the same to you. It's just like you were attracted to broken things. Hoping that you can fix it. For some of you guys. Because that's, that, that's what we do. That's what we do. Some of us are healers. Going into a relationship. Already see the red flags. But we ignore, we ignore them. Thinking we can fix these people. And we really can't. They've been broken for a very long time. Very long time. And there's nothing they can... It, 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 some of them can't even be fixed. Some of them can't even be fixed. This person is childish. They're very judgmental, very critical. This is somebody who is lacks discipline, lacks control. A tyrant. Somebody who is reckless. Yeah. Something about your hard work is paying off. I just feel the empress out here. Divine feminine. I feel like you had to lead this person. It may have took you a long time. But you was very productive. I feel like you kept going. Even if the got the if the road got hard, you still you still you still was steadfast. You took responsibility on your part, and you was like, "Cool, I know what I'm attracted to and what I'm been, what I've been tracking attracting. I know what I'm not gonna do this time. That's what I mean. And if you had a job or career, I feel like you guys are still working on yourself each and every day to keep above all of this." You know, keep going. Keep uh, keep blocking out the bullshit. You're not with you're not with this type of energy no more. You so much ascending and so so elevated. There's a lot of people around this person that is toxic. A lot. This could be learned behavior ever since they were a child. And they do it to different women. Not only they did it to you, but they do it to others as well. That's what I'm getting. They learned this from a mother, a auntie, a grandmother, someone who, a sister, somebody in this person's life is just as toxic, just as low, low vibrational, very narcissistic, unavailable emotionally to people. They don't know how to express themselves. It could come off harsh. It can also come off as manipulative because they don't have a heart. They're mean. They're hateful. They're one-sided. They don't even open up their mind to think, think outside of the box. These are people that are, they think alike. It's like a group think. 
So if all of them are thinking negative, this person is going to think negative too. It's just like somebody is not willing to grow. This is like somebody not willing to move out of their hometown to expand themselves, to see what's out there, to discover. <laughs> Somebody's not leaving a nest either. Somebody likes listening to bad advice. And it's, it's really, this is really sad because it keeps somebody in, trapped. It keeps this person racking up karma for breaking women's heart, mistreating them. This person has probably racked up so much karma due to receiving negative advice around people that they team up with. That's the energy I'm giving off here, man. This is sad. It's really pathetic. Yeah, you're not, you're not, fo you focus on yourself. High priestess, you're not focused on nobody else. I feel like if there's anybody that is interested in you, you're taking your time. You're not rushing things here with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you letting things flow. I feel like there's a couple of women in this person's life that is also jealous of you. Jealous of your position, jealous of your beauty, jealous of how you take care of yourself, how you got support here, High Priestess, because you are psychic, you know this, you know this person is attached to negative women, that just is, is, is just as horrible as they are, okay? Somebody got to do a lot of healing here. A lot. Yeah, this person wants to put it down. I told you they sabotage it. He wants to give it up. Somebody is embarrassed. They shamed. Because you was innocent the whole time here. I just feel like that. And somebody know they did you wrong. And this is why they cry. And this is why they suffering. This person is catching hell. And probably those who are around them that they listen to is catching hell too. Anybody that played a part in this, anybody that played a, a specific role, anybody that was on the ones and twos, manipulating the energy, you know, behind the scenes, had their mouth on you, everybody is suffering. But this person is catching the, the worse. Worse than everybody else. This is past resentments, holding on to grudges, holding on to a lot of resentment towards you, okay? This person has a desire to reconcile, but this person hasn't made amends with the past. They haven't released it. Whatever, whatever this person had held against you when you walked out of their life, that's, this person still holds on to that. And that's sad to not heal like that. They ain't shifted out for you when you walked away, baby. That allowed karma to come in. Justice to the will of fortune. I can't make it up. This person is crying for everything you did. I'm not bitter. And they watching you. This person is watching you. Probably these other women here too as well. It's probably a, a group of mean bitches and mean niggas that's watching you. Be successful. Yeah, be the empress. I can't make it up. Be successful, independent. These devils are watching you. Because they're bitter. These are drunks. These are people that have addictions. These are people that could be a part of your family, your bloodline. That they know karmics is karma their way. Trouble is brewing. This person is finna go through pure hell for the way they treated you. And anybody else that, that helped or assisted this person, they all are going through trouble. 
and it's clear to you because you're the high priestess, you know. Four cups in the reverse talks about self-awareness, sudden awareness. These people are shocked. They're getting shocking news. Getting a sudden realization, an aha moment that they get in karma. Yeah, this was your ex soulmate. Toxic. I'm just so, I'm so annoyed about reading on this energy because I feel like, what is the purpose of you watching this person, this divine being, when you already know that she knows what you did to her? All of you. And it started from your toxic ex. This person did things to you over and over and over here. Because of ego, arrogance, conceitedness, pride. This person was a prick to you. They were very dirty, very vengeful. And this is why that karma is going to be so horrible. They watch you in secret. This person is being investigated too as well by your spiritual team or this person is being haunted by your ancestors. The ones that spiritually guide you. They can't even rest at night because they know how they treated you was so fucking foul. They know that. And they will never live out this life without, without knowing, without being haunted. What they did, they watch. And they so off balance. They did something repetitively, repeatedly, over and over. This is a fallen angel, a fallen twin. Somebody that fell from grace, fell from the... The, the clutches of the Most High and decided to side with the devil. This person sided against you. A true earth angel. A true psychic. And they can't sleep at night. Nine of swords. I told you. Come through spirit. It bothers them. They suffer with worry, fear, depression, nightmares, insomnia, this person is hopeless. They cry. They treated you like an option. They were so weak to these options. They were so weak to the illusion. They fell for the okie doke. They fell for the traps. Now they're, they're, now they're unstable. This is somebody that wasn't committed to you. They juggled you. They mishandled you. They mistreated you. There was no trust there. There was no accountability. There was no responsibility. No closure. This person didn't give a fuck about how you lived. They didn't give a fuck about people attacking you. They didn't give a fuck about joining these people. To do so. And that's why you don't give a fuck about them. I told you. Spreading up my lies and gossip. Party with these third parties. He partnered with them. He most certainly did. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. This is somebody you walked away from. And they're restless. Because they know they abused you. They know they did this. They know they were cruel to you, ruthless to you, mean, hateful, a bigot. Okay? Prejudice, ego tickets. I mean, they drove you insane. For some of you, all you did was cry. Trying to fix things with this person. They were so evil to you. So evil. This person got a demon attached to them, an entity attached to them, and they can't shake it. This is how they do every woman in their life, and it's because of their mother or their father, the way they was raised. 
-hmm. And you came up out of a soldier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, judgment. This is where this person's at. Man, 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 man. Let's get some of my uh, makeshift deck here. Let's see what comes out of the deck, guys. Karmic family. There could be a Pisces involved. This person could drive a black truck. You could be noticed a black truck following you or outside of your home. This person has lawyer fees so they could have something to do with court or maybe something about <clears throat> in the justice system, whatever that is. Tell us more here, spirit. They made up so many lies against you. This person did. Taking time bomb. This person, you walked on a lot of eggshells because you don't know. This person had you all over the place. They had your mind scattered. You don't know if they were going to have a good mood today or the next day. You didn't know. It was This person was like a ticking time bomb all the time. Karmic mad at this masculine for loving you. So this person still got feelings for you. You are a sensitive subject. So people know not to bring up your name around them because they get pissed because they know how they treated you. Yeah, this person is in court. There's a court, court case going on. Something about DUI choices could be significant. Okay. Somebody could have got in a car wreck or a car accident. This person was a backstabber and those people around them also stabbed you in your back too as well. Every child you try to leave, something keeps pulling you back. You tried to leave this person, but something scared you or something told you or you asked for God for a sign this time and you was out of there because this person kept pulling you back. Eviction notice, so somebody's losing a home, okay? Somebody could be losing the main source of income here. Somebody could be losing a job or a career or somebody got fired, okay? Somebody is missing some money, something about money, okay? I went broke taking care of the karmic's kids. So this person went broke. So he's with a karmic. This queen of uh, wands in the reverse. Okay. He's with somebody that's driving him insane. And, he, and, he's, and he's so emotional about you. We got use your discernment. Okay. And I feel like you have. In a lot of ways, sis, this person. You don't let anybody take advantage of you now. You rely on your discernment. That's what I get from that. Yeah. Steal your energy. This person was stealing your energy, taking it back to third parties. This person suffered from low self-esteem. Excuse me. And the people around them, you used to, but you don't anymore. You've healed. Strong sexual energy. This is what this person suffered with. Addictions. Tell us more here, spirit. When you smile, it lights up my heart. So you must have a beautiful smile. You can have beautiful teeth. Somebody loves your smile. Okay. God's wrath. This person is suffering God's wrath right now. I told you. There's a fake friend in the mix. This was your falling twin flame. Now he's with a karmic, okay? You spoke the truth when you speak about this person. What he took you through, you spoke the truth, okay? Ooh, that's too me. Ooh. Let's go here, spirit. One more, couple more. Ex-cop exposed. Somebody is an ex-cop. Okay, well, this person has a cop in their family taken out of a resume that's been exposed. Murder could be the case. Be careful. So this person may have tried to take you out. We did have them out here. Okay, he could have tried to proposition an ex-cop and didn't know this person was undercover. They could have been working with this person. 
taking out the resonate here to come up against you to take you out. We got um, somebody could have a large waist, so somebody could be a BBD, a BBW. Don't feel bad because I am too, boo. <laughs> but I live true for, in myself. Somebody is panicking, super panic. Somebody wants to see you. I wouldn't trust it. Use my discernment. Use your discernment. This person tried to sacrifice you. That's two cards talking about murder. Yeah, this person into a lot of child porn. They into porn, period. They have a lot of addictions. Okay? You had to do some self-reflection. You had to move away from this person. Yeah, somebody was warned to stop while they are ahead. So this person could have been attacking you with a lot of people out here. Because there's several individuals out here, okay? They install secret cameras to watch you, so somebody could be in trouble for that. <clears throat> Give me one more here, Spirit, and then we're going to close it out. It says, I never should have left this relationship. So this person, even though y'all were still together, his body was there, but his mind was somewhere else. They, they are wishing they never should have did you like this in this relationship. In the beginning, they should have never left you. I was This is the last one on the bottom of the deck. I was fucking her while we were together. So they were definitely cheating on you. I really hope this helps someone. I really hope it gives you clear and concise answers that you need. This has been Goddess Nicole Tarot. Peace, love, and light to you collective. Until next time, Mwah. bye. Y'all stay safe, and I love you guys. Take care.